Hi everyone, I did a little shop in the last couple of days and it's several stores in one that I'm going to do in this haul and it's very short, I didn't get a whole lot. Went to Hancock Fabrics today because I wanted to, you know, really do some shopping on the patterns, but I got there right before the store closed. I thought they closed at 9 o'clock and I got there maybe 20 till 8, so, but she did let me look in the patterns a little bit, but I kind of rushed it because usually when I'm looking at patterns, it would take me a good hour or two to look through the uh, catalogs and but I did get a few from Hancock Fabrics so I'm going to go over what I got and I also got a few appliques the appliques were half price okay so this one right here is a dragonfly and um, it was a dollar ninety nine and I paid ninety nine cents for this okay um Let's see. Eight, two, four. I'm looking up their item numbers. Okay, let's see where did it go? Crystal kit, is that it? Uh -huh. I remember it was three forty nine. Let's see. Okay, here it is. All right, this is um, one of those tulip glam it ups that you iron on, applique, and it was three forty nine, and I paid two forty four. Oh, that's because I had a forty. No, I didn't use my forty percent off coupon. Okay, anyhow, and then I got this applique from Plaid. Number is three four five three eight. Three, four, five, three, eight. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how much I paid for this. I'm trying to understand how to read there. Uh, I think this is the one, but I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah, all right, wait a minute. It's called Red Birdie. Anyhow, it's from Plaid, and it's called Red Birdie. It was half price. And I'm not sure what I paid for it. The numbers I'm looking at on the back here is not... ...matching up. Here we go. Okay, I found it. Okay, the regular price on this was $3.99 and I paid $1.99 for it. Now I understand how to read this receipt. <laughs> okay. This one right here, 70715. Okay, this one was also $3.99 and I paid $1.99. These are iron on, but even though they're iron on, I still like to do an applique stitch around them, make it so that way I know they're going to stay on. Okay, this one here is MR6. Okay, this one here was $1.59 regular price. And I paid 79 cents for it. Okay, then the ballerina was a dollar seventy-nine and I paid eighty-nine cents for this. And then the horse was two dollars and nineteen cents and I paid a dollar nine. And I think this is really cute. I like this owl. Isn't he cute? And he was three ninety nine and I paid one ninety nine for that. I just thought that owl was so cute. All right, now here's the patterns. Alrighty, um, let me see where they start. One, four. Wait a minute, okay, wait a minute. Here's the pattern numbers right here, okay. Looking for simplicity, 1341. Okay, here we go. This one right here was $1.99. If I didn't get it on sale, it would have been 
and it's really cute. It's ballerinas for my granddaughter. She takes ballet lessons, and uh, I've got to fix this darkness again. i got to figure out why my camera does that, because it go goes dark sometimes. Okay, here's a Butterick pattern that I really like. B6205. Here it is. I paid $1.66 for this. And if I would have uh, bought this at retail, it would have been $17.95. And I'm going to make the top. And the top is really cute. It's got pleats coming from the neck down to the bottom. And I just think it's adorable. So I'm going to make that. I might make the dress too, but I know I'm going to be making the top. I'm going to show you one more time. That's the top that I want to make right there. Okay. The next one I got... 6032. Here it is. I paid a dollar sixty-six for this one. If I got it at retail price, I would have paid eighteen ninety-five for this pattern. Crazy the prices they want to charge for patterns these days. So I always wait until they go on sale. Okay. The next one, this is a retro pattern from the 50s. I guess it's from 1950. But anyhow, let's see, 6055. I love this dress. And I can't wait to make it. And um, it looks like the zipper's on the side. And it has a belt that you can make to go with it. Here's the back of the pattern so you can see. So, this is the front of the dress here, and then this is the belt that you can make, and then here's the dress. And as you'll see, there's little dotted lines on the side here, that's where the zipper goes. Okay, so that was $1.66, and I would have paid, if I didn't get it on sale, $19.95. Crazy. Okay, and then this pattern is from 1960, is a retro, 5748. And I paid $1.66 for this one. And if I got it at retail, $19.95. All right, here's a Berta pattern. I really didn't get to go through the Berta catalog like I wanted to because I love Berta patterns and I don't have many and I wanted to get more. But I saw this, it's a Barbie and Ken pattern and I don't see that very often. Uh, so, this cost me $2.49. If I got it at retail, it would have been $12.95. And um, see, it has patterns on there for Ken and Barbie. So I was really excited when I saw this. So you can make all kinds of things, and it doesn't tell you on the back of the envelope what you can make. But it's, there's, there's just so much you can do with it. You can make, well, let me get the envelope out. Maybe it's on the envelope that'll tell you. All right, when, when I can find English on here, I see all the other languages. But English, here we go. All righty, here you go. You can make a jacket, um, a pullover, wait a minute wrong category. That's preparing pattern pieces. Okay, they don't give you a description of what everything is. But anyhow, it looks like a jacket, a pullover top, pants, capris, a hat, um, a long gown with um, a ribbon to go around the neck, Skirt, long and short, um, and it looks like some shorts on here. But anyhow, so I am really going to have fun making this pattern. My daughter, my granddaughter's Ken doll doesn't hardly have any clothes, poor thing. So I'm trying to, you know, they don't make a lot for Ken uh, dolls, but you know, I'm always out there searching. Okay, so that's the end of Hancock's Fabrics. So, let me get all this back in the bag.
Okay, and I went to Lakeland today, by the way. My daughter and I both did. Okay, while I was up in Lakeland, I went to Ulta. I've never been to an Ulta store before, and I saw on the sign when I went into Hobby Lobby that they have an Ulta store. And I said, well, I wonder if they sell Bare Essentials. And sure enough, they do. So, anyhow, this is what I got. I signed up for the email list and everything while I was in there. This right here is called Touch to Go. It is a mineral veil with a kabuki brush, a little travel bag you can stick in your purse, and this is what it looks like. And it's definitely going to go in my purse because during the day I have oily skin and during the day I really need to touch up sometimes. And it's a cute little compact size. It's about, it's about this size. There's my hand. There you go. So it's a perfect size to go into your purse. And if I can figure out how to open it. Their new design on compacts is nice, but... Um, okay, here's your little uh, um, buffing pad. And that's the inside of it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and try it. I haven't done anything with it yet. Let me try a little bit on my, like on my nose here and see how it feels. I'm going to do a review on it. And I've never tried the compact before, but I've tried the powdered mineral veil. Oh, that's nice. And I feel like it's, I feel like it's clearing up the oiliness a little bit, maybe taking the shine away. All right, I'll put my glasses on and I can see. Yeah, my face doesn't look so shiny and it feels nice. I like Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals is my favorite makeup. I have tried other brands and I always go back to Bare Minerals. Now that I know that store is there, I don't have to wait until they go on QVC uh, to get my makeup, because that's how I've been getting it, is on QVC. Anyhow, the compact cost $12. This is what the packaging looks like. Let's see. Yeah, $12. Oh, and I'm, here's the little kabuki brush, that if you want to take this with you. But I think I just want to do the pad. Um, I'm going to put the kabuki put, put the kabuki brush in my cosmetic bag anyhow. But you know, it's really cute. Look at that. So and now that I know they're there, I'm going to go back and um, I'm going to try to find some more little travel things that I can stick in here for my. Okay, and then um, I tried, as you know, whoops, wrong thing. I tried, as you know, the the liquid foundation they have out now. I do not like it. It makes my face feel dirty, and it really makes it shine and oily looking. And um, it feels heavy. It doesn't feel light like the powder. So I went back to what I usually use. I usually use the powder. And so I went back to it. I am not switching from the powder again. This is mineral. This is called medium beige. This is the color right there. Now, if you do, if you've never tried bare minerals, it is a little expensive because this cost um, this cost twenty seven dollars. But let me tell you what. This can last you for six months because all you need is a little bit, two shakes, and a little bit comes out and it covers your face. You don't need a whole lot. So this will last me about, let's say, four to six months. Then I also got me some blush. I have tried their compact blush. I do not like their compact blush. 
and so I went back to what I've used all uh, what I have always used before and that's the powder and here you go this is called hint I believe did I get the hint no I got Golden Gate and it's a really nice color and so the powders if you do mineral if you do bare minerals or you haven't but you've thought about wanting to do bare minerals go with the powder don't go with the compacts and the um, the liquid foundation unless you've got really dry skin then that's fine but somebody with oily or combination skin and maybe even normal skin it may not work okay so here you go that's what the inside looks like so you just shake it a little bit and this will last me about the same amount of time four to six months so. and oh yeah and I almost forgot I asked her I says how do you how, how, what is the best way to clean your brushes? I said, I've used uh, dish liquid and, you know, got a paper plate and rubbed my brush on the dish liquid and, you know, I'd see the makeup and all come out of the brush and then I'd rinse it and it'd be clean. She says, yes, but bare minerals, brushes, or natural hair, you know, like horse hair or something. So she says, you need to take care of it as if it was your own hair. She says, you can use your regular shampoo and wash it that way or you could use the spray which this is called quick change brush cleaner she showed me how to use it you just spray a little bit like on a tissue or cotton round or something and you just swish the brush well pretend this is the brush and you just swish the brush like this until you get you know all the makeup out and it just takes takes a second and all you do is maybe squirt two squirts on there on the tissue or whatever you're going to use so i said okay i'm going to go ahead and try it because i trust bare minerals with um anything in my face i have some i used to break out but since i've been using bare minerals i do not break out anymore so that's good all right so that's my review on bare minerals now we're going to go to Step away. I'm going to go in my room. My makeup table. Okay. My daughter and I, we stopped at Goodwill. I have never seen a Goodwill like this before. This Goodwill looks like, it looked like it was a Dollar General or something because it had practically all brand new things in there. The only thing I saw I used was a few toys and some clothes and that was it. Everything else was brand new looking. It was like, um, well, you know, they, everything was in packages, like you would get in a store, regular store. And this is an example of what I'm talking about. Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh-oh. I got some earbuds. I don't even see the... I don't even see the, um, hold on, oh, here's my earbud, okay, for instance, this is what it was, I found, there, they had a whole lot of these, and, um, they were $1.99, but I've never seen a Goodwill set up this way before, where you would actually see new product in there, and that's practically all it was, was new products. So anyhow, I got these earbuds for $1.99. I have tried the Dollar Tree earbuds and they hurt my ears. So I thought I would give these a shot. Let me put, put them in and see how they feel. Okay, they've got this little rubber piece right here. And and that's the style of it. See, and then it's kind of tilted a little bit. But let's see how it feels. It keeps sliding out. Again. 
I'm going to do a part two of this whole video because I didn't think it would take so long to do this video. It feels pretty comfortable with this rubber piece on it. So that's for my laptop, like my husband's watching the race and I want to get on the computer. Then, and I want to watch YouTube or whatever. Or if I'm in the car and I'm on my tablet. So, there you go, $1.99 for that. And then, now the stands for these are out in the car probably. But I got some pink flamingos. And see, they had, a, they had a whole bunch of these. And don't they look brand new? I've never seen a Goodwill like this. Anyhow, they go out in the yard. What do I have left? I only have... Well, I only have two things from Walmart. I got yesterday and a few things from... Um, I can't think. From Hobby Lobby. I'm going to go ahead and just finish because I'm tired. I want to get this video done. Alrighty. I got some um, batting here. Seven eighths of a yard. And it was $2.78. I got this from Walmart. And then I got some um, lightweight fusible, a quarter yard for $0.39. Cents. That's all I got from Walmart. I use a lot of interfacing. Alright, here's Hobby Lobby. One bag of sewing essentials because they had the Sewology half price again. And then um, this. This right here is a pet bed, do it yourself pet bed. My daughter, she has a dog. And um, the, I guess the dog likes to sleep on comfortable things. My dog just likes to sleep on the bare floor at the bathroom. But anyhow, so um, um, so I saw this and I asked her, I says, would you like for me to make a bed for the dog? And so it says, step one, glue rail to base. Step two, ready for cover, and you're done. This is a medium size, and the medium is base fit one and a half inches by 21 inches by 15 inches. The rail is one and a half inches by seven inches by 63 and a half inches. I'm gonna open this up, because I wanna see exactly what this is. This is made out of foam. And it's from Let's Get Creative, American Excelier Company, and I paid four four seventy nine for this. So let's see what this looks like. I got two of them. I know I'm not going to make one for my dog because I know she won't use it. Okay, here's the base right here, and then here's the rail. Now what I'm going to do is just to glue it first, then cover it. I'm not going to glue it first. I'm going to cover it first, and I'm going to cover this, and then I'll put it together. So I got that. So I got two of those. Oh, foam just got on my face. Okay, so like I said, Sewology was half price, and so was the ribbon. So, let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see some of this ribbon. I'm sitting back, relaxing because my back's tired. All right, can you see? Yep, here we go. All right. I got this right here, and this is $2.99 regular price, but I paid $1.50 for it, and um, it's 5 eighths wide by 9 feet, and it's called Rainbow. Right, and then I got, I call this baby Rick Rack, and I've been needing some, and this is the color red. It's a quarter inch wide by 12 feet, and I got this for 99 cents. This is a um, metallic velvet trim. The color is hot pink, 
is three eighths wide by nine feet and is usually two forty nine and two, let's see, two forty nine I would have paid a um, dollar twenty four. So I paid a dollar twenty four for this. And it's real glittery and really pretty too. Okay, and then I also got the same thing in turquoise. That's a more baby rip, rip rack and light pink. And I got it in light blue. Okay, and then they I got like I said Soology. All of Soology sewing items are on sale, half price. So I got me these beautiful glittery buttons. Look how glittery that is. Isn't that beautiful? And they were $1.99, so I paid 99 cents for those. And then I got a, a bra back extension. You know, sometimes I find a bra that I like, but it may be a little too small. So I use these extensions so I can get the bra that I like and it'll still fit because on the back of these uh, extensions it has the hook to go on one side and then this side will go you know on the other hook on the other side so I paid 99 cents for that and you only get one in a package oh my back hurts all right I got some piping here regularly a dollar 69 and I paid let's see dollar 69 I paid is it? Number 69, I don't see it on here. I don't see a dollar, oh, continued on side two. Okay, here we go. Okay, a dollar 69, I paid 84 cents for this piping. It's purple, and you get uh, two and a half yards, and it's a half inch wide. All right, I got this beautiful red crack here. Isn't that gorgeous? All uh, glittery, um, and I paid 99 cents. It's uh, 15 feet long. Then I got some Velcro. I can always use Velcro. And so the regular price on that was $1.49, but I paid um, 75, 74 cents for this. I got some more baby brick rack and the um, ivory or off white. They had these gorgeous buttons. Look at those buttons. Aren't they just gorgeous? These were $1.99, and I paid 99 cents. There's the rest of the buttons. Beautiful. Okay, uh, this was a dollar seventy nine, so I paid. Okay, this is a uh, single fold bias tape. This is the color ivory. You get four yards. It's a half inch wide, and I paid eighty nine eighty nine cents for this. And then I got me some more buttons. Look at that. Aren't they cute? And these were 99 cents on sale. And then I got this uh, frog fastener. That's what a frog fastener is, if anyone knows. You can put it on jackets or um, things like that. $2.99, so I paid, I paid $1.49. I need to figure out why this camera keeps going dark on me. I will work on that maybe tomorrow. Okay, here is a double fold bias tape, and I paid um, 89 cents for this. Okay, um, all right, here's a single fold, 89 cents for this, and that was turquoise. And this is called Lace Hem Tape in the color beige, and I paid, uh, what was it? 79 cents? No, I paid 84 cents for this. 
All right, so I'm just, you know, that's basically what the prices are like. So I'm just going to, it's, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I got and the colors in it, and tell you what the colors and what it is. But that's basically what the prices were like. Okay, um, and if you go online and you want to order this kind of thing, the sale is good. Oh, today is the last day. This 19th. Mm. But anyhow, anytime they have a sale like this and you go on uh, line, you'll still get the same sale price. Except when they have sewing patterns on sale. I found that out. Okay, here's some more piping in the color white. Here is some um, hemming tape in the color ivory. Some more Velcro. And some more of the metallic glittery uh, ribbon. And then I got this uh, silver metallic piping. Really pretty too. Uh, navy so uh, hemming tape. Red piping, turquoise piping, um, beige um, hemming tape. In the hemming tape, you get three yards, orange piping, pink piping, metallic gold piping. white lace hemming, uh, hemming tape, more Velcro, uh, I got uh, the uh, hook and loop sew on round dots, these were $1.49 so I paid $0.74, cents. I got them in black, uh, some white hemming tape, more Velcro. This is brown. And then I got some more of this rip rack with the uh, glitter on it. And then I got some more hook and loop sew on dots. And then this is single fold vice tape in brown. They also had their what's called gemstones brand um, like in the scrapbook section. And they had those half price. So I got the letter T because I'm doing my wedding album and I thought this would be pretty to put on the front. So I paid 99 cents for this. Okay, single fold bias tape uh, is white. I got some of these uh, needle threaders uh, for your sewing machine or hand sewing needles. Um, $1.79, I would have paid 84 cents, something like that, and I got three and a package. Then this is uh, piping and it's hot pink. I got some um, pink, it's called pink eye red rick rack. It's glittery and it's 12 feet by and it's 3 8 inch wide and it looks like it's sort of like a baby rick rack. Then I got some more of the metallic um, glitter uh, ribbon and red. Okay, all of this is going to be uh, single fold uh, bias tape. So I got it in apple green, yellow, leaf green, pink, purple, and then this is the double fold in scarlet. Baby Rick Rack in the hot pink. I got some more needle threaders. Uh, I got some single fold in white. Um, hot pink single fold. Royal blue. Tan. Aqua, apple green, okay that's it of the bias tape. I got uh, some more baby rickrack in the white 
And then I got some more of the glitter rickrack in the white. And then I got some more of the metallic glitter trim. I got these snaps because I, I want to finish up my, a project I made for my dog. And when I get it all done, I'm going to take a video of her wearing it and put it on YouTube. I think you might get a kick out of seeing it. Okay, I got me some more buttons. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. Okay, and then I got these buttons. I got me some sewing machine needles. Regular price was $2.49 and $2.79 and half of that. So I got universals, size 11, 14, and 16. Ballpoint, 11, 14, and 16. Um, Oh, I got two of the Universal 11, okay, I got two of the Universal 11, 14, and 16s, and two ball points, 11, 14, 16s. I got me a rhinestone buckle. It was regularly $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for it. And then this one, I really wasn't, didn't want to get it, but I have a belt that I need to put a buckle on, and it's um, uh, like a metallic hot pink, so I got this to go on it. It was $3.99, so I paid, what, $2 for it. Then I got these cute little rhinestone buckles. They were $2.99, but I paid a dollar, no, yeah, a dollar fifty. I got some more of the nice, beautiful, glittery buttons. Aren't they beautiful? And the color on these, they don't tell you colors. So I have no idea what color they are, but they look to me they could be an aqua. And then I got me some more little rhinestone buckles. Then I got these uh, D rings for making pocketbooks and all. I got me some more lace hemming tape in black. I'm almost done, just a few more things. I got this tape measure because sometimes when I'm out shopping sewing supplies or whatever, I need a tape measure to measure with. So I got this for 99 cents, but I used a 40% off coupon. And so, um, not sure what I paid. It has a button on one side that you can, you know, keep it at whatever length, and then I guess you push it, and it goes back in. So try to show you again. So you got it up like this, push the button, like that. So this goes in my purse. I've got me some more buttons. These look like they're emerald green. Another bra extension. Another rhinestone buckle. More buttons. Another buckle. Buttons. And purple button, uh, purple glitter buttons. Okay, that is it of my haul. Okay, you have a good day or good night whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe, click the like channel, and leave comments and questions. Alrighty, I will see you in my next video. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing in my next video. Um, probably won't be doing any shopping for a while because I think I've got enough. I have a room in here. Um, trying to organize my fabrics and when I was at Hancock's today I went to the back of the store and I looked in their dumpster and they had a whole bunch of those bolts that fabric comes on and so I loaded up the car with those and then I stopped by Joanne Fabrics and I went through their dumpster and I got some more bolts so right now I am going I'm going through my fabrics and putting them on these bolts so that is my project for now Okay, well, I will see you later. Bye-bye for now.